It has been nearly two years since my first Pyrocynical video first came out, and in that time a lot of new information has obviously been out. Toastify made his video which gave a lot new context to the table. I highly recommend you watch his video before watching mine, since it will help you all understand what I'm actually talking about. And instead of ripping off his video point for point, I'd rather you just go to his channel and watch the work for yourself. I'm sure you are all aware of the I'm Alex drama that has been going on lately. I'm Alex has been accused in, and in some ways been proven to be an abusive person towards his ex-partner. Now ever since this came out, this caused the internet to go absolutely crazy on I'm Alex, with many creators making videos exposing how Alex is a hypocrite for many of the things he stood for. To normal people, women abuse isn't normal anyway, it's just because it's more ironic when it's I'm Alex, since he was the one that preached to the 13 year old white girl fan base. And thanks to the I'm Alex drama, it brought back one of YouTube's most notorious podcasts, and I'm talking about the baited podcast, with the host being Keemstar, Tommy C and Colossal is Crazy. For the majority of this episode, they do speak about I'm Alex and how he is a nasty person, but thanks to Keemstar, he brought up the situation with Pyro to a good friend of Pyro's, Colossal. Otherwise, I've got a podcast with uh, Dolan Dark, Nerd City, Pyro Cynical called To Be Honest. Uh, new episode coming out this week, which is um, going to be about I'm Alex, I'm afraid. Yeah, we got to do it. Yeah. So you're going to hear the yeah, different perspectives. Yeah, yeah. So you're you're doing a podcast on a 13-year-old French girl? Your girlfriend? <laughs> now my girlfriend. No. That's Pyro's. Are you really going to take a swig of Pyro? Jesus Christ. I mean, I was proven right. I interviewed the girl. Oh, you called him a pedophile. Was he a pedophile? Silence. Dead fucking uh, silence after that. I mean, he was... He was well, dude, so dude, much for he Keemstar was dating, being he was dating. always right. <laughs> Why are you interrupting me? Why are you interrupting me? I Keemstar makes a slight jab at the 14-year-old French girl situation, which I'm sure we were all excited to see the argument between the two unfold from there. But that's not what made me want to make this video, or even made me interested in the topic again. It was when Clown himself claims that Pyro was in an e-relationship with the French girl when he was 17, and she was 14. Was he... Was he or was he not uh, in a relationship with a girl that was, uh, I believe it came out to be 14 at the time? He was in an E relationship. Nothing ever happened. Nothing ever occurred. What? With an E relationship with a 14 year old when he was I what? I don't think she's 14. 19? No. No, she was. I interviewed her. We got the correct age. He was 17. Yeah, that's right. He, he made No, he wasn't. No, he, he was 17. No, he wasn't. Keemstar is always right, guys. Not at that time. <laughs> yes, he was. Not at he that was. time. He wasn't 17 nothing at that time. Nothing ever happened, no news exchanged. Just a big nothing burger. Now, this is where things get really confusing for me. In Pyrocynical's first acknowledgement on the situation back in 2016 on his Reddit, he stated that she was 15 and he was 18. Now, Clown is saying 14 and 17, which changes the story in a very small way. Either to make it seem less bad, or Clown was wrong, was wrong, or he's just misremembering, or Pyro was wrong, or Pyro lied, or Clown lied, or Clown was lied too. It really does bug me how this drama is never crystal clear with the facts being 100%. In Toast of Eyes video, he says Pyro was 18 two months away from being 19, and that Pyro stated that she was 15, like I just showed, but she testified that she was actually 14. It's hard to say if that means she lied about her age to Pyro, saying that she was 15, since there are no DMs with the exact dates. It really is a mess. When the girl was interviewed by Keemstar about the ages, she stated that she was 14 and Pyro was 18. If that is true and the actual age, in my opinion that is really weird of Pyro to do, regardless of there not being nudes shared. I don't understand why a situation should be downplayed because nudes weren't exchanged, because Clown stated it was a nothing burger because they were e-dating without sending nudes, and that the ages were 14 and 17. Now, 14 and 17 is not a predatory age gap in the slightest. 14 and 18 is where you're sort of like pushing the boundaries of what is acceptable since you are technically a legal adult now, and the other person is not. But this does mean that Pyro or Clown have lied, since Pyro stated at one point that they were never dating, and Clown says that they e-dated. I don't believe Clown is a liar, so if I had to guess Pyro had actually lied to Clown behind the scenes, since he never denied they were actually dating after the girl came out of her statement with Keemstar. It is most likely that he's post back in 2016 wasn't exactly the truth. Now I understand that this makes me look like some sort of reddit detective, which at this point I can't even deny it, but as a viewer of Pyro and Clown, I would love the truth to be actually told clearly, because it's the lack of comments and the dated statements that really confuse things for everyone on the outside. So I did the simple thing to do, I googled it. Okay Google, furry fart porn. My apologies. I don't understand. Yeah, of course you fucking don't. After May 14th, 2015, Pyro would have been 18, but before May 2015, he would have been 17. Now, this means that it is possible that he was messaging the girl when he was 17, and it is likely that he was just messaging her when he was 18. But like I said, the girl herself said they met in 2015 when he was 18 and she was 14. So, I met Pyro 
back in 2015 when I was 14 years old and he was 18 years old. Keemstar asks if Pyra was to respond, will he be using the argument that she lied about her age? And she said that he knew she was born in July 2001, which would make her 14 at the time. But some of you might be thinking, there is a chance she had bad blood with Pyro, and it is just lying to make it seem worse. Well, according to Colossal is Crazy, she had no beef with Pyro and is fine. So in my eyes, she actually has no reason to lie about this situation at all. They shouldn't be meshed together, Cloud. But don't you think the story was ancient reality and not Pyrocynical? Because yeah, the issue. she had nothing but positive things to say about no, Pyro. No, I think there's two stories. Personally, I don't see how when she says that the age you get was 14 and 18, this is her being nice to Pyro. But I guess we have our different definitions of nice, since that doesn't make him look very good. But this is something I was hoping Keem would pick up on on the conversation. But the guy has a brain of a walnut. Just to mention some things about Keemstar and his place in this drama, he doesn't actually give a fuck about getting this girl's side out. It was all just because he had personal drama with Pyro and just wanted to get him back. While from the outside, it looks like Keem was trying to do the right thing, there was definitely malicious and personal grudges with this one. If anything, I blame Pyro for this. If Pyro never made his Tabuscus video on Keemstar back in 2016, when he claimed Keem should have put a disclaimer in a video, even though it literally said disclaimer in the title, Keem is just one of those guys where if you fuck with him, he will fuck with you a thousand times worse. It makes it worse because Pyro knew that Keem knew about the French girl stuff back in 2016, since Pyro's friends had approached him about it, these friends being Snipers, Vagabonds, and Chili CSGO. Keem didn't run the story because he spoke to Pyro about it in private. Then once Keem felt attacked by Pyro, he went Keem crazy mode and just released the entire thing publicly. So if anything, I blame Pyro. If someone had bad dirt on me, I would never decide to make a pointless video criticizing someone for something they didn't even do. In 2020, Pyro was exposed for sexting a 15 year old called Ivory. These conversations were sexual to a weird level, and Pyro Cynical was 19 and 20. Now, this was self admitted. Now, this age gap is 100% worse, but Pyro claimed that he never knew the age of Ivory, and that nudes were never exchanged, it was just sexual conversations. But to be fair to Pyro, he was backed into a corner with the Ivory situation since everyone had known that this was Pyro. Pyro was never backed into a corner in response to the French girl situation, since there are still people that don't even know this girl actually exists, since it became a meme on the Pyrocynical channel, when he made references to the drama himself. Her existence entirely was viewed as a product of this lie, with many proclaiming that she simply wasn't real, becoming a meme in the community. She ain't no uh, 15 year old French girl. As an example, here's a tweet from Nobify that says, you didn't really talk about your 15 year old ex-girlfriend in the video. Here are some replies from the time that say, didn't he clearly say it was made up in the video? The one that doesn't exist? Why should he have to? It's obvious Key made it up, considering how much he changed the age. On one of Nick Durio's live streams around three weeks ago, he reacted to the debated podcast about I'm Alex. In his chat, the YouTuber Toastify, who I mentioned earlier, got into a little conversation with Colossal is Crazy. Clown was using his Colossal is Lazy account at the time. What happened to that, to be honest, podcast about ancient reality at Colossal is Lazy. I think Pyro is done with responding, and I kind of don't want to do it for him. He should do it himself, though obviously if he's brought up, as he is in this episode, obviously I'm going to defend him. I disagree with how you defended him in this podcast, but I appreciate your response. Obviously not on you, but I would really appreciate a bigger response from Pyro. Then I thought he was 15. My main issue with Pyro is gross negligence, and I completely agree with Toastify. Pyro Cynical hasn't made the situation clear enough. The story is very confusing, and it just makes him come off as more suspicious in my opinion. With that all said, the Pyro situation is one we will never get a clear answer on. We will never know the proper ages between Pyro and the French girl. While I believe her with the age being 14 and 18, I still am yet to see any actual proof. With the amount of times Pyro has ignored the situation, it makes me wonder what is there to actually hide from this. It makes me wonder if this really is a nothing burger, what is there to hide? But then I guess you could use the argument, why would he reply if it's a nothing burger? But if someone was making claims that I was dating a 14 year old when I was 18 and I wasn't, I'd be on my arse straight away to make a response. Which when he did make a response, completely denied that they were in a relationship when it turns out they were. So you make of that what you will. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. Please check out my second channel where all the member videos and live streams will be there. If you for some reason like slop content, I also do that over there. A super thanks is appreciated but not expected. I've been Wacky TV and until next time, see ya!